All right, welcome back to Sports Line. Take you back to New Orleans for Division Three Select as Episcopal was on the road as they took on the Newman Greenies. And the Knights got out to a hot start in this one. First drive of the game, uh, third and 13. Braden George, a former Sports Line player of the week, finds the hole, stiffs on the man, and gets in for the 43-yard touchdown. And the two-point conversion was good, so eight to nothing Episcopal early. But Newman would respond as Jake Randall makes a brilliant cut outside and strokes into the end zone for the touchdown. 8-7, to seven, Episcopal still in front. After tacking on a field goal to make it 10-8, to eight, Newman up in front. They add to their lead. We're trying to add to their lead as Eli Friend throws to Randall for a contested catch. And that leads to a touchdown from one yard out from Friend. As he celebrates with his friends <laughs> a little too much. 17-8, to eight, Newman at the half. Third quarter, Episcopal looking to strike back. Zach Who drops back, hits TJ Callahan, who makes an incredible catch. Big game for the Knights. And then a couple of plays later, it's going to be a little reverse to Nathan Sanchez, who finds plenty of room. And Gallup down the sideline for the 23-yard touchdown, 17-15. to Episcopal still fighting, but Newman would not be denied in this one as Jake Randall breaks through the defense and runs into the end zone for the 27-yard touchdown. 24-15, Newman and the Greenies going to win 31-15. to Congrats to Episcopal on a good season. All right, Vermillion Catholic in Abbeville Take playing host to training. Ascension Catholic. And Jake Landry hands off to Chad Elsey, who only scored nine touchdowns last week, eight rushing, 461 yards rushing last week. Uh, Landry, another handoff to Elsey, who runs around the left side to score here. The Bulldogs were leading 22 to nothing, it says here. But Ascension Catholic kicking off, Jiren Bazard catches it for the Eagles, finds an opening. Nothing but wide open no, green no. grass before he is gone there. The 80-yard run to put VC on the scoreboard. They trailed 22 to 7. Then Jonathan Dartez sets back the pass and keeps. Looks for an opening and passes to uh, Joe Langlinay. He continues around the right side, finds a path to the end zone. And according to uh, what I've got, Vermillion Catholic won this football game. 39-35 was the final score. So Ascension Catholic, they were up 22 to nothing, and they lose. All right, Opelousas and ACBC will take on Riverside, who took out St. Martin's tonight. And Opelousas, they were, oh, that's we'll the get Saint to that. St. Michael, they lost to St. Thomas More, it should say 49 to nothing, the final. All right, so Opelousas is at Lutcher, four seed Lutcher. Hosting number 12, Opelousas. Early fourth down for the Tigers. Four-star running back, Deshaun Ford. Plunges ahead for the first down to move the chains. And then back to Ford moments later, finds a crease, accelerates into the end zone. Two-point try, no good. Six to nothing. Opelousas out in front. Three minutes left to go in the first quarter. Fourth down for Lutcher. And plus territory handoff to Lutcher, number four, Brock Luquette. He hits the second level. Saunders to the right. goal line for six. PAT is good. Seven to six. Lutcher at the end of the first. Opelousas is driving in the second. Deshaun Ford rumbles. And coming up, we can just tell you that uh, Opelousas on the road was able to uh, get the victory over the Lutcher Bulldogs. Final was 26 to 10. We'll be covering high school football next week. Just not sure what capacity, if it's sports line or on the news, but you know we'll be here. Have yourself a great weekend. LSU plays early. Get some sleep. Buy your classic, too. There you go. <laughs>